IMAS does a wide range of research. The quite common species, rock lobster, abalone, we all know about, but there's a whole range of minor species that we do research on as well, and they're equally important for long-term sustainability. Species like periwinkles, cockles, clams, urchins, scallops, the list goes on. The minor species are important because they're quite often based in regional towns, such as here in St Helens. Uh, local fishermen go out just doing day trips. The commercial guys are really great to work with. So we go out with the clam fishermen, we dive alongside them while we collect our research samples. Instead of us just raping and pillaging the bottom without knowing what we're doing, with the surveys that we do with these guys setting a, a fairly accurate target of what we can take each year. So yeah, the fisheries come a long way since we've got these guys involved to do um, all the studies on them. A lot of people know periwinkles and especially the shell, they're quite common on Tasmanian beaches. But most people don't know that there's actually a large fishery for these in Tasmania. We did a two year research project on these to look at age and growth. This was to set sustainable size limits for the fishery. So what we did, we tagged 3,000 of these and let them go in the ocean for 12 months. 12 months later, we come back and we had to find these 3,000 snails crawling around the ocean floor. Now, we also do a, a lot of work on sea urchins and in particular the long-spined sea urchin, which is moving down our coastline and turning our reefs into a barren state. We're looking at ways to make the urchin fishery more profitable, such as looking at the waste products and if we can turn that into a fertiliser. By fishing the urchin, it removes what we consider a pest from the environment, and that will hopefully let the kelp regenerate. Scallops are an iconic species in Tasmania, whether it be consuming them in a fancy restaurant or eating a scallop pie. Each year, IMAS scientists board industry vessels to conduct surveys of known scallop grounds. The data is then used to determine what areas should be open to commercial fishing and how much catch should come out of these areas. We also investigate threats to the resource, such as the recent work showing that seismic surveys conducted to find oil and gas deposits in the world's ocean can have significant impacts on scallops. Importantly, resource managers can now use this research to ensure that these seismic surveys are not conducted too close to important scallop beds. Since people like IMAS have come on board, things have changed greatly. One of the great aspects of working on fishery stock assessment is that science and research knowledge gets put into management straight away. So you see the direct impacts of your science, making a fishery more sustainable. Tasmania's waters support a diverse range of fish species, many of which are fished commercially and recreationally. And while they may be small, these fisheries often only supply Tasmanian markets. To be able to do science that supports sustainability of a whole range of species is really, really satisfying.